Okay guys, so there's a few things that we're going to change today. As you can see them, they're all laying down on the table. Um, plus the motor right here. Okay, so that's the brand new motor. I'm just going to show you that inside right now. The top off, you're going to see, there you go, your board plus your motor. Plus we got some cables that we're going to change um, in the way, just in case they burnt out. So assuming everything burnt out, we're going to change all that. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is take out the sensor. So once we take that out, we're going to start with the motor. So just take those out. Okay, from there we just have to take the back screw as well. That's how it looks like. It was right over there. Okay, then we just gotta lift it up. It's quite heavy, so you have to be careful with it. Okay, so just lay it on its back and you're gonna take out those two screws from the back. Okay, or, um, you do have these wires here, so you do have to disconnect that. And you're gonna see that the connection to your board. So that's down here, okay, just the bottom. That's where you're gonna see it. So just taking it out, okay. So we take all those out. So everything that you see that connected to your board, you will have to take out. We are gonna eventually take out all these wires anyways, because we're gonna change the board as well. So you could just unplug everything as well. Just keep in mind where everything goes so you can put it back in as it was before. Hopefully this video will help you remember. Okay, something else that you do have to get is that screw down there. Okay, so some wires are in there so we're just going to take those out. Okay, so once you have all those cables loose, then we can just take that out. So that's the base of the motor. Now usually your motor will not come with that piece of metal, so you do have to change that up. This is how the screws look like, just in case. Okay, so once you take that out, you will see this underneath it. Just keep it just in case you didn't get that with your motor, because you will need it. And then we're just going to set up the new one. Um, guys, take a second just to clean this stuff up. You probably have a lot of dust built up, so just clean that up and then put the new motor in. So now we're going to just put this part onto the new motor. So here's the brand new motor. So we're just going to place that on top of it first and then place that piece over it. You just want to place those screws there. And once they are ready, everything in position, remember that this part right here will go inside. We're just making those very tight, very snug fit. And then we just turn the motor around, basically. And it will go right in there. Just be careful with the wires once you're putting it inside. Don't forget to put the belt. So that's why you have the option to lift it up a little bit. Just to put that belt in. Next, we're just going to put the two screws there. Okay, don't forget the back one it goes in there.
when you're putting these screws in, you do have to, with the first one especially, put some pressure into it. Just to keep that down. making sure that everything's nice and tight We're just gonna take out the main board, so just disconnect everything and um, make a note or take a picture of the cables where they go. That's it for the main board, and we're gonna insert the new one. Okay guys, at this point we have a few cables that we're going to change um, before doing the main board. So once you have the main board taken out, we're going to change a few cables. So some go underneath, some go directly up. So I'm going to show you that in a second. Okay, so that's one of the cables that we're going to change that's up here. Okay, um, just in case we did take out that plastic part um, that just has screws right there you can take out. It just makes it easier, but you don't have to. It's not a requirement for you to do that. Once you unplug these two cables, just by pressing on them, okay, you don't need any tools for this. Um, it could be hard, it could be very, very soft to it, usually hard. Um, then we're just gonna attach the new cable to it. Now the reason that we're gonna do that is just to run the cable so we don't get the other one mixed up. So we're just going to do it with some tape or if you can attach it in any other way. So the reason why we're putting tape, it's just to have the cable um, when we pull it go exactly down as the other one was. You don't really need that in this, this case just because the cable just goes straight down. So you don't have that much problem with it. So the cable does come down here. But before you can do that, you have to lift up your treadmill. So we just set up a weight here and uh, we lift it, it up slightly, not too much. I'm just going to show you guys how it's lifted up. Okay. And as you can see, the cable's right here. So it already came out from the bottom. You just disconnect, get the old one out, put in the new one. And then you have to reconnect it on top. Ones. That's nice and tight. And we can just unplug the bottom. One that we're gonna change is this one, the one that comes out from here. So basically, same technique from this one. This one's the newer one. When we take that one out, so we're just gonna tape it so it goes exactly where it has to go. Um, let me just show you guys how we're gonna do that. So same thing. Just tape it around, and then we're just gonna. Take the other one and pull it so we can plug the new one in. Okay, so all we do is just keep dragging that up. I'll show you from the bottom how it looks like. You kind of see it down here. So it does come out from a hole down there. Okay, if it gets loose, don't worry about it. Just keep trying to get it through the whole thing. Okay, it, has to, it does have to come out from here, so let me show you underneath. 
you get them through just plug them in and um, remember to have the right side on <laughs> and then we just have to put this back just to protect the wire nothing more point when you have your cables ready all set we're just gonna put in the new board so the new board should look almost identical to the old one if not identical sometimes they upgrade the board so they might be a little bit different but everything should fit We're just gonna plug in the cables. Remember, the black one goes on the left. It does say B out on it, so you shouldn't get that messed up. And then there goes your red one. I guess those would be the most uh, important ones if you guys don't mess up on. The other ones are kind of hard to mess up just because it's different, so you probably won't make a mistake on the other ones. Just make sure they're really nice in there and nice and tight. Just make sure to screw that right in there, nice and tight, that's the green one that goes right in there. Remember the white cable will go on top and then you have your other one that goes on the bottom. Can't really show you guys now, but yeah, it's that cable right there, will go on top. And then you got your black one that goes on the bottom. Okay, so you need to disconnect that, and right now you're reconnecting. So that's how they go. Last look to see how it's supposed to look like. So that's your motor right there. That's the cable. We're just gonna turn it on just to test it out. So if you did everything right, everything's supposed to ride smoothly. Okay, your motor. Now, parts do come defective sometimes, so you might have to ask for another one. That's normal, but uh, that's just bad luck. In my experience, I've had bad luck. This is actually the second time that we've placed the board. Other than that, good customer service from Livestrong.